Today we're going to learn how to make containers that can contain multiple objects to sort. You can sort pictures, numbers, letters, words, whatever you choose. Today we're going to sort letters into containers designated as vowels or consonants. To begin, we're going to select a shape and make our containers. I'm going to select the shape tool, then here the size of the outline of the shape, the shape itself, and the color that I want the shape to be on the inside. Then you go to the flip chart, click, hold, and drag to make the container. I want an, an additional container, so now I just have to change the color. I'm going to make it yellow. Click, hold, and drag. Now I have my two containers. I need to tell these containers that they are containers and what they will contain. So I will click on the Select tool, then the Property Browser icon at the top of your browser, and scroll down, but first you have to select the container. So I select the container, go down to the container section. It may have be closed and have just the word container with a plus sign. If it does, click on it. Can contain. We're going to select keywords. And the keywords that it is going to hold will be consonants. Then we will select this container, do the same thing, go down to container, select keywords, can contain vowels. I'm going to put B for vowels. Keep your keyword as simple as possible. This will save you time if you have, to have many objects that you're going to have the children sort. Then we're going to put our letters uh, at the bottom exactly where they want them to be. I'm just going to do a few letters. So I'm going to go to text, select that, and come here. I want the letters to be in black, and I do not want them to have a background. If I select this, I can uh, change the color so that it does have a background. But if you do not want a background, always select the icon with the X. So then I'm going to type in the letter A and B. B. U. And O. and I'm going to place them exactly where I want them to be when they come back if they're not in the put in the correct container. So I'm going to click on the select tool and arrange the letters the way I would like them to be. I'm going to put a vowel over here, consonant, and a vowel. Now I want to tell these letters that they will be returned if they're not put in the correct container. I'm going to do that by click, holding, and dragging across all the letters. And I'm going to scroll down here in my property browser to the rules. And where it says return if not contained, it has false. I'm going to change that to true. And then we have to tell the letters whether they are vowels or consonants. We do that by clicking on each letter, going to the top, and where it's under identification, where it says keywords, A is a vowel, so I'm going to select B for vowel. U is a vowel as well. We're going to be B is a consonant, so I'm going to put in the C. D is a consonant, put in a C, and O is a vowel, 
put in the feed. And we're done. I am, however, going to uh, label each of the containers. So I'm going to click on T for text. Right in here, consonants. In here, vowels. Move it in the location where I'd like it to be. Same here. Click on the select tool. And now I am going to save it. Because once you move the letters and then you save it, it's not going to be able to go back to its original state if you click reset. So I'm going to come to this section, file, save, and I have already saved the container, the flip chart, so it went there automatically, but you would designate a name and save it. And we are done. So let's test it out and see if it works. I'm going to put A in the consonant section and it's going to bounce back. If I put it in the vowel section, it will stay. U is a vowel. If I put B here, it will bounce back. Put it over here, it's the correct one. After the children have finished, if you use this as a workstation or however you want to use it and you want to go back to the original state, you just click on the uh, reset button over here and it'll go back to its original state. Again, you can use pictures, uh, words to sort um, by words with long vowels, short vowels, prime and composite numbers, um, renewable and non-renewable resource pictures, whatever you choose to do, it's just limitless. Hope you enjoy. Thank you.